Daily Devotion with Pastor Bala for September 4th, 2024, from the book of 2 Timothy, Steadfast Fellowship in Christ's Mission. Previously, we heard a devotional reflecting on from 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 18, where the Apostle Paul's confidence in God's ultimate rescue and preservation was taught. We considered how this promise applies to believers today, encompassing both spiritual protection and eternal security. The devotional emphasized trusting God in all circumstances and responding with praise for his faithful care. It concluded with a prayer for strengthening of faith and gratitude for God's promise. So, let's continue with 2 Timothy. From 2 Timothy chapter 4, verses 19 through 21. Greet Priscilla and Aquila and the household of Onesiphorus. Erastus remained at Corinth, and I left Trophimus, who was ill, at Miletus. Do your best to come before winter. Ebulus sends greetings to you, as do Pudens and Linus and Claudia and all the brothers. As we reflect on these closing words of Paul's second letter to Timothy, we are reminded of the deep bonds of fellowship that unite believers in Christ's mission. Paul, nearing the end of his earthly journey, takes the time to send greetings and shares updates about his companions. In doing so, he demonstrates the importance of Christian community and mutual support in the face of trials and persecution. Priscilla and Aquila, a married couple, mentioned several times in the New Testament, were faithful co-workers in the gospel. Their dedication to Christ and his church serves as an inspiring example for us today. The households also receive special mentions, reminding us of the vital role that families play in nurturing and spreading the faith. Paul's reference to people remaining in Corinth and being left ill at Miletus give us a glimpse into the practical challenges faced by the early Christians even as they walk tirelessly to spread the good news, they encountered obstacles and setbacks. Yet these difficulties did not deter them from their mission, but rather strengthened their resolve and dependence on God's grace. So the apostle's request for to Timothy come, to come before winter speaks to the urgency of their work and the value of personal presence in ministry. In an age of instant communication, we must not forget the power of face-to-face -face fellowship and the comfort it brings, especially in difficult times. Finally, the greetings from all the brothers underscores the expansive nature of the Christian family. Though separated by distance, these believers remain united in spirit and purpose encouraging one another in the faith. So as we ponder these verses, let us be reminded of our calling to support and encourage our fellow believers. Like Paul and his companions, we are part of a greater mission to proclaim Christ crucified and risen for the salvation of the world. May we faithfully carry out this task, strengthened by the bonds of Christian fellowship and the power of the Holy Spirit. In times of loneliness, illness, or persecutions, let us remember that we are never truly alone. Christ is always with us, and we are surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses, both past and present, who share in our struggles and our joys. May we, like Paul, persevere in the faith, knowing that our labor in the Lord is not in vain. God's peace and many blessings be with you. And thank you for listening. And please take an opportunity to share this message with others. If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to Peace Lutheran Church, 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 60544. Thank you again for listening.